Hello there everybody, this is Donna Bells. Welcome back for some more Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine! And another freaking piranha plant is taking over Delfino Plaza. Damn it! How many of them have we fought so far? Like, four? This will be the fifth? My goodness. Well, before we go there, I actually wanted to get a little blue coin in this mere hole. Ta-da! Here it is! This is actually a jail cell. The poor little blue coin was being imprisoned this whole time. It's not a very bad cell, honestly, because, I mean, you get the sound of the ocean. You get a little escape hole here in the back. <laughs> I don't know why that hole's there. It's not really much of a, a jail cell if, you know, there's an escape route. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's not the one that Mario was being held in because Mario had a bed in his. Oh, did you see that, uh, circle flashing? That is actually a way down to an underground pipe. And there's some coins down here and a nifty little one-up. Woohoo! You know, just in case you suck at this game. Kind of like me. <laughs> what the hell, Donna? Why did you do that? I didn't mean to do that, I swear! Usually when Mario's high up in the sky like that and you ground pound... Is to, like right before you land, then you won't get hurt. So I guess that's what I was thinking, but you know, obviously with the sewer cap there, he, he went back in. I'm such a ditz. Anyway, oh no, poor little Toadie. He's being buried alive by melted licorice. I feel so bad for him. The poor little thing. We have to save him. Come here, piranha plant, you bitch. How many of your brethren do I have to fight throughout this game? And they never learn their lesson. Their mouths are always open. You little slut. Take it. <laughs> right in the mouth. Ew, that's, that sounds very naughty. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not. Because I know all of my subscribers, their minds are in the gutters just as much as mine is. Ah! Bubbles, bubbles everywhere. They're such pretty colors, but they're just super annoying. Right, you have to spray him in the mouth six times. Oh, yeah. Gotcha, bitch. Now, if you remember me going to get the two shines that were over here earlier, you would have noticed that the lighthouse was actually here before. And I guess the piranha plant just, like, ate it magically somehow. Or it was, like, buried alive in the goop. Kind of like this little poor toad here. Well, I guess the lighthouse wouldn't be alive, but you get what I mean. It's okay, Toad, you're safe! Look at him celebrate! That's what I call a happy dance. So cute. Thanks, Mario! <laughs> oh, goodness. I saved his life. He is one very happy Toad. Seriously, though, if I thought I were being buried alive in melted licorice or even, like, quicksand, because that's more a realistic thing to happen, I would just be like, kill me now! Bah! Oh, well, speaking of more happy things, we are off to Gelato Beach. This place has an amazing name. Gelato is definitely, in itself, just amazing. If you know me at all, you'd know that one of my most favorite things on this planet Earth is ice cream, and gelato is just a more sugary, gourmet Italian version of it, which is exactly why it's pretty much all I ate when I actually visited Italy. Amazing. Oh, look at this guy. Happy dance, break it down. <laughs> this place is really cool, but it's full of these uh, dune buds, which is actually the mission. Wahoo! When you spray them, they do that. So, uh, the mission is to find the dune bud that opens up a secret. Let's see, is it this one? Nope! It's basically like the sand is sneezing at you. <laughs> now this here is what we call a dune bud. Dune buds are odd plants that appear only on this beach. If you want one of them streams, you can blow up and... <laughs> Obviously. All right, so I'm gonna get some blue coins. The first one is right up here on the ceiling. You bounce on that tuft, I guess, or whatever it is, and you stick to the ceiling. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm not really sure what this place is, but it has a uh, cash register and seats, so... I don't know, some kind of cafe? Mario! Oh, this is a nozzle. Um, that box we can actually get already because that's just the uh, hover nozzle. The cool thing about that is when you actually jump on it, you get a free refill of water. So that's nice. Why that tree is there, I have no idea. I just like to uncover it because it adds more, uh, plant life to this beach. 
Tana, another blue coin. Um, another two that I want to get are actually uh, fail. Sorry, Mario, I didn't mean to face plant you right into the wall. It, oh, oh, there's another um nozzle. That one's actually a hologram. We can't get that yet, but we will shortly. Anyway, the two blue coins I want to get, they are linked by these triangles. So you spray one on one side of the beach and then you get your ass over as soon as you can. Ah! Oh, I got nervous. I thought I was going to bump into a tree. But get over here as soon as you can because you have to fly all the way across that beach with all these stupid cataquacks in the way. That's what all those, uh, those little blue animal things are. The little duck looking things. <laughs> They actually throw you up in the air, so be very, very careful because they will chase you. Ah, get away from me! Woohoo, I did it! Oh yeah! Lots of happy dances happening in this video. I like it. <laughs> so anyway, let's get going on to the uh, dune bud that we're actually supposed to be spraying. And it would be this one! Ta-da! There's the Sand Castle secret! Get out of here, Cataquack. I saw you trying to get me. No, stop jumping. Oh no, it's gonna get me! Go, 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 go! Yes, I made it. <laughs> All right, so guys, welcome to the first secret level of the game. I know how people like love this shit <laughs> because it's very easy to fail here. Why? Because flood is taken away from you. And the cool thing about the secret levels is that you get to actually experience platforming without flood. And notice that those uh, sand blocks, by the way, that we just jumped on, they disappear under your feet. So be very careful. If you go, just keep going. Don't look back. <laughs> That's my best advice. Jump! Wait, what? What the hell? <laughs> What? <laughs> I love the horn at the end. It's so comedic and stupid. Why did I do that? Mario, you forgot to jump, you dumbass. Gah. Oh, goodness. Well, that's what happened. See, if I had flood, I would have been able to, like, catch myself. But obviously not. Can't even press the freaking A button. Hey, okay, let's do this right this time. Jump! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, what an idiot. This thing, this little structure here, to me it always looked like a space invader. I know it's not, but I always thought it looked like one. Anyway, this is a good chance to uh, practice your back jumps and side jumps and all these crazy jumps because it makes it a lot easier to get up here. Oh, and I just wanted to uh, point out the atmosphere here. It's very cool. There's like trains and airplanes. It reminds me a lot of Super Mario Galaxy, honestly. Very cool place. Yeah, yeah, I got the shine. See, it's not that hard, but obviously, see, I told you, I just suck at this game sometimes. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. Ah, oh, well. <sighs> On to the next secret level. I know, I'm sorry, I just did one level in Gelato Beach, but we'll go back to that later. Today, I really just want to uh, keep with the theme of the secret levels. And as I mentioned before, there's actually one over here in this pipe. Ah. But this one's a little bit di- What the fuck, Mario? You forgot to jump again? Oh my god! Oh, I suck. I... This recording's just silly now. It really is. Who forgets to jump? Mario? Something tells me that while I was gone and not recording, Mario was just relaxing on the beach with one too many glass of Italian wine. <laughs> My gosh, get your ass in that pipe, Mario. Uh, <laughs> did you see him? His feet were actually up in the air. In the pipe. Oh my goodness. This level. At least flood isn't taken away from you. That's all I gotta say. This is gonna be interesting. It's basically like a giant slide. With holes in it. So you have to jump. Like right here. Okay. Okay. Yes! I landed! How you can control Mario in the air, I don't even know. Because that does not make any sense in physics. What? Oh my gosh, I can't believe. Yes! Yes! I cannot believe I got that my first try. Woohoo! More happy dances! Oh yeah! Okay, let's not fall. Let's get the shine before my ass falls again. <laughs> Shine! Oh 
my goodness. How I could do that in one try, but I can't like jump across a gap. Uh, it's, it's beyond me. I don't even know. Like everything's... There's no explanation. Oh, hero guy. I haven't seen you here before. What is it? Hold on. I smell it. Something's gonna happen. But where? Where is it? I don't know, dude. You tell me. You're the one with the gigantic nose. <laughs> Aww. Did he sneeze? I love how when you uh, spray them, like, their tree on their head freaks out. But anyway, I was gonna say, Mario can't really talk because he kind of has a big nose, too. Anyway, here we are, Bianco Hills with the Hillside Cave Secret. Mmm, it couldn't be a cave in a hillside, could it? <laughs> it's not very secret when there are signs with arrows pointing toward it. Come on. <laughs> oh well, I guess what's inside of it is a secret, is, is what they're going for. Whee! I love going down this hill. It's like a giant slip and slide. I would love to do that in real life. That looks awesome. I mean, if it didn't hurt your stomach, because I know that that is made of stone, but meh, didn't seem to hurt Mario. He's fine. Mario was a trooper, though. All right, blue coin. You just gotta get those uh, blades to spin really fast and it pops out the top of that platform. And of course, there is one in the trees over meh. You can only get it when there are coins actually in the in the trees, like back there. You spray the middle of this last tree in it. Out it comes. Woot. Alrighty, so let's go ahead to the secret cave. That's oh so very secret. I have no idea where it is. It's so secret. I mean, there are no signs pointing toward it or anything. <laughs> get out of here, you blueberry with a flower on it. Those enemies are just silly. So, this is the way I like to get over to the hillside. You just go over here to the bottom of the hill. And you do some fancy jumps. I'm going to do a backflip. Jump off the wall and then try to get Flood to get up there. Ah! The most annoying thing is when you're like using Flood's hover nozzle and you're going backwards like this. Mario automatically flips around. And it just wastes time and water. It's super annoying. I wish they wouldn't have added that. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Then we just do another fancy flip and we get our ass up there. Yeah, good job, Mario. And of course, Flood gets taken away. Goodbye, Flood. Why Flood gets returned at the end of it, I'm not sure why. It doesn't make any sense. I, I guess just go with it. You know, N Nintendo logic and all. <laughs> Anyway, I love this secret level. It's really fun to me. Just jump up these cedar blocks. All right, now this part may be a little bit tricky, but one thing that I love about it is the way that Mario's shoes sound when you're walking on them. Oh my goodness. I have no idea why, but I am obsessed with that sound. Like men's shoes with, it has to be like the dress shoes with the hard heel. Anytime they walk on any kind of hard surface, I love that sound. I have no idea why. That and when people step on gravel or when cars go across gravel driveways, those are definitely some of my favorite sounds in the entire world and I have no idea why. Whee, I'm done. Oh my goodness, I almost fell. Let's, uh, let's not get too fancy there, Mario. <laughs> but does anybody else like that sound? Am, or am I just crazy? Because ever since I was little, I always loved the sound of Mario's shoes <laughs> when he walks on those blocks. Oh god, what is this crap? What is this giant spike turtle thingy? And where's the princess? Wasn't she just out here? Peach? Peach, where are you, bitch? No! Toads, don't tell me! Mama Master Mario, the p -p -p princess! Oh, you fucker! You both suck! You were supposed to guard her! That's it, I'm smashing your face into the ground. Bop! Oh, dang it, it didn't work. No violence on the toads. Well, you know what? You all officially suck. You suck too, Green Toad. Gah! Oh well, before we go and fight that whatever it is over there, I wanted to show you something real quick. This was actually pointed out to me by a lovely commenter named 
TDI Warrior 1, and he said that these things right here, I called them raccoons last time because they look like, you know, the raccoon suit from older Mario games. But I was actually told that these guys are tanukis, which are a very common wildlife animal in Japan. Now, here's a picture of the real one. Isn't it cute? I'm sorry if this makes me a horrible Mario fan, but I actually did not know that this was the animal that the raccoon suit is actually based off of. But the thing is, they call it a raccoon suit because this animal is actually a raccoon dog. So raccoon isn't too far off. Plus, I've never heard of this animal. I live in the United States. We don't have these things. <laughs> Now, another cool thing I've read about these animals is that they're really prominent in Japanese folklore. And they always have the hat, just like the tanukis in this game. And they're always, like, really fat. And they're meant to represent, like, what happens if you eat too much and drink too much alcohol. And another interesting thing is that they always are represented with gigantic balls. Yes, you heard me right gigantic balls. <laughs> now I'm not actually going to talk about that myself, but I'll put a link in the underbar for those of you who want to find out more about this interesting tanuki. Now I'm going to have to end it off there on, yes, gigantic balls. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.